I've got a new project guitar going on. That neck is going to go on this guitar. It's a Squire Bullet Strat by Fender. We bought this at Musician's Friends for $112. It plays nice. It's set up very nice right out of the box. The only thing I had to adjust was the pickup height. That was wrong. They were all flat down to the board. But it plays really well. And what I'm going to do is change the neck and customize it because it's my guitar. I'm going to put black, black tuners on this green painted head with a maple neck um, off another custom Squire Stratocaster. And that's going to be the new project. We're going to change the pick guard eventually. I got new stuff coming. We're going to change the covers to a green. It's going to be a plaid type of green pick guard. We got a nice green strap to go with it. And uh, that'll go over the next couple of weeks. Working on it. Made in Indonesia. Nice. Seafoam green. And do the whole thing. Change it all over. Gonna do new. Now the new neck is men. Sorry about the shadows. Is made in China. This one that it's coming that's coming off is Indonesia. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do with this new project is work on the neck, the new neck that's going to go on that guitar. And we've got to put the tuners in. Now, I've got these F-style tuners. They're China-made. They ain't great, but they're pretty good. They look good, and I like the F-style, so I'm going to use them. Some of the grommets don't fit differently. Um, they're not like universal. It's funny. <laughs> You've got to match up the right grommet for the right uh, tuner in the hole because some of these just don't fit universally which is bizarre so I'm matching them up then I'm going to line them up so I know which one goes with which and where they'll fit and then I'm going to put the bushings in each of the holes and they'll be the same and I'll line up the tuners so that each one will match their corresponding bushing cool huh and I'm going to take this stupid silver tree off and we'll put a, um, a black roller one on there in a while. Okay, so we'll be back. As we start to get into putting these tuners in, I've had this problem before with these China-made ones. The holes look like they line up, but they don't exactly. And what I've had to do in the past is grind down the end of uh, one or two of these off of here, this edge, so that the holes will actually line up where the holes are for these, each one, because you share a hole, each one of these tuners, you know, so you've got to get them to all line up correctly, and uh, it's a bit of a hassle, so we'll take them downstairs and grind them down a little and make them all fit. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone downstairs and I ground down this side of this one, okay, and then I ground down the second one on both sides, and they sit nice and smooth and flat now. There's no gap. You can see up here there's a gap, but they don't quite fit. So I gotta finish grinding these all down side to side, side to side, side to side, and make them all fit nice. All right, so, all right, so what we're gonna do now is seat these screws, and we've got one started. Where the heck did I put the other one? Here we go. see how this goes. Beautiful. Nice bite. A perfect bite. Let's see if we can sit the next one down and get the next screw started in the right place.
That looks pretty good. So I think what I'll do is start the screws in each of the holes and then we'll see them all afterwards. And I think that'll allow them to settle into the right place easily. Because this is a nice sharp screwdriver bit and it's biting into these perfectly. Let's see if those are all seated. All right, those are good. Those are seated. I'm gonna take what I think is the crummiest screw and try to lay it in here. screws to start. See how these are lined up on the bottom. Not so great, but I think they'll sit in a minute. Good. Or at least pretty good. And then we'll work our way right down the line. That's nice and tight. Check these other ones and see if they're sitting down. I think they are. I just heard the clothes dryer go off. I gotta go get my new pants out. <laughs> Is that seated? No. So this one we got to push down hard and get this to go in on all six of these tools to be settled. That's pretty good, I think. One needs a little bit of a push still, but and here comes the last one. And we'll take a look, a close look uh, with the naked eye. Now the only screw that's not seated well is that one. So let's try this again. See if it'll turn and seat. I think I'm a little strip in the head, so we're gonna give it a serious Royal Canadian push. All right, that one's lifted up just a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Let's see how they turn. Everybody's turning pretty good for China-made tuners. But what I like about these is they're the F-style tuners that I really like. <coughs> so I'm gonna give one more big push and see if I can get this one to sit down. It ain't quite there. Now that's better. That is better. A little up still. I don't want to break the screw head off either. I mean, there's a fine line between the sublime and the ridiculous. I got just a little bit of airspace in there, but it's okay, I think. As long as the tuna tunes, we make tuna fish. Eh? Eh? So that's that. So they're all done. That looks pretty good. This is a nice neck. I love this neck. Shiny. It's a small head. I wish it was a bigger head, but it'll have to do. It'll do until the real thing comes along. So that's that side. 
That's the other side. With these guys all placed nice on the factory painted stock, which is really wicked good. Oh, I got one bushing that's sitting up a little bit here. So we'll see if we can't smack that. That might be too much. That might work. It did work. We drove the bushing back down. So that's all seated. So that's all good. All right, we're done kidding around for a while. We'll be back. The next thing we've got to do is look at taking the body apart and putting this on the body. Maybe we'll do that tonight, too. All done now. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is take this neck off, this guitar, because this maple neck with the green headstock is going to go on the seafoam green body. So we're going to take that apart now. That's the next thing. And I'll get back to you when we're removing the actual head. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is take the neck off. I done did the strings. On the tuners, and now the next thing we're going to do is disconnect the neck. Should take that bubble out of there. I can get power to take these out with. My hand is too slow. I'll be right back. We'll keep going. Okay, I went and got power. This is undoing power. I can always do them under power. And we're going to take a look at how straight the neck is going to be and the other one. Simply this drops out, drops out very simply, no problem. See how the holes line up. They look close, maybe it'll work. You can see how the truss rod is put into the cheaper neck as opposed to the better neck. Um, although this is made in China too, so I don't know, maybe that's a big fat lie. I don't understand that. But anyway, that's that. Let's take the new neck and put the gauge on it and see how flat and straight it is. If it needs any, it's straight as an arrow. It's very, very straight. Nice. Okay, because it's a good neck. It's a good quality neck. So that's going to go to that. Let's flip this over again. Just take a look underneath here. Get all these wood chips out. And we'll see how this lays in. And that's what it's going to look like. Lays in beautiful. I mean, it really lays in nice. Doesn't look like there's going to be any problem with that at all. So let's see if we flip it over and see if the screw holes line up. Let's just use a little screwdriver. Well, that one drops straight in. This one's a little bit off. And this one's a little bit off. So I might have to drill it. again and see where they come out. Let's 
my best way to do this. I need to get an awl. I'll be right back again. We'll get an awl and pass it down the what shaft. What we'll do is put the awl down. I think this one did line up, and that does. This one doesn't. This one does a little. They don't line up just right. I don't think. Oh, that's going in. That one's going in. What we can do is try to drop a screw in there and see. All right, so let's try that. They do line up a bit. A uh, pinch is worth a pound, you know. We'll put the original shaft back. See how that goes. And then we'll see how these go. If they're catching in the right holes. I think they actually are. And then we'll have to see if the neck is straight once we get it seated. Um, Because it's squire on squire on squire. So if it's squire on squire, we could get lucky and the holes could just all line up. Here comes the big flip. Although this is plates crooked. That doesn't speak well for what might happen here. Although it's lined up. It's a little bit off here as far as the center goes. But it looks like it's looks like it's in the neighborhood anyway. So let's see what happens if we put strings on here. All I'm gonna do is turn this around into the light so I can see a little better. No big deal. Just a big turn. What are you seeing? Nothing? Alright, let's go down here and get to the head. For the head of the class. Let's see if we can get this thing to. Okay, we're tuned up to pitch. Here's the new neck. That's on. We're going to change this to black. I don't have any right now. I've ordered one. It's coming. We're going to change the pick guard to a green and black piece. Um, so it'll all look a little bit different than what it is now. But it's basically over to the new style of neck, which I really like. So the next thing we're going to do is see how it plays. Like I said, I just tuned it out. Right now it's an acoustic guitar, but we'll get it fixed up here in a second and play it like an electric and see what happens. Be right back. That's the new neck. Oh, the E string has popped. And I lost my E string. It popped out of the tuner. So I got no E. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta fix that. Go away, man. Okay, now we're halfway complete, and there's the um, the neck. All done with the new headstock painted green from another kind of squire. Nice. 
So the neck is on, the neck is straight, the action is good, the sound is good. So the next thing we've got to do is finish the kind of dress up work. We've got the black F style tunas all on here now. They look nice with the new neck maple with the pre painted stock off the new styles. This is a 2018. And again, the body was 120 bucks from Musician's Friend. And the neck was, uh, I think, more, actually 149. But very nice. I love that. And I'm going to finish doing some other makeover parts and we'll get it all done up. This will be part one that we may post. Um, or I may wait and do it all as one video. But that's the new, improved, latest, and greatest from Steve Bright, Wise Guy. All right, we're back. We're going to take the back panel off of this and take a look at the springs and see how they're set up. See how that's doing. And then we've got some inlays we're going to do that are a greenish abalone um, that I'm going to put on the uh, pick card. I mean, not the pick card, on the fingerboard. So let's pop this off just quick. Pain in the neck, but we can do it. Oh, well, they've done this pretty good. The setup is pretty good. The springs, they put the three springs in line, which they didn't do. These screws are a little crooked, so the um, pressure on the tremolo bar is going to be off a little bit. But we'll, all we've got to do is back off this screw, and that'll fix that problem, essentially, just by doing this. Or we'll equalize the spring tension. And literally, that's all that takes. So those are about even, which should put the pressure about the same. Um, there's one more coat of plastic on here. I hate this plastic coat. There's two layers, so when you get these things, you get one layer off and you think you're all done, but then there's another layer of plastic that's on here too, so it's very, very protected. And it cuts down on the gloss, um, on the shine of the plastic. It's a bit of a pain in the neck to get started to remove it. But once you break a piece free, then it lifts up pretty easy. And maybe we'll be able to show you that live and in a living color. I think. <laughs> um, this stuff sticks very well. Anyway, be right back. I'll get this started. All right, so now, like I said, is that last piece of plastic here. I can show you how that lifts up. So this is just going to lift and peel all the way around. When you get the screws out of the way, there's nothing to make it snag or anything coming up, so that works out a lot better to either loosen the screws or when you've got the screws off. Both the pick guard and this rear protector, you can peel the safety plastic stuff off pretty easy. So this is all set. That's good. We've got the springs even. We've got the screws even now, so that's all set up good. Um, and this hole is just to be able to allow the strings to pass through. Six of these screws back in. And, oh, ooh, uh oh, there's an adventure. I never, I never dropped a screw down that hole before, and now I got one in, and I almost just threw another one in. So <laughs> let's take this off and go find the screw that fell in. Because it can't stay in there. It'll block up the whammy mechanism. There it is. So we should be able to just dump it out. And there it fell out. Nice. Pretty dumb, huh? 
not just a job, an adventure. It's always something different whenever you do stuff. Let's see if you can line up the holes again and put the dumb screws in. The hell's the other screw hole? There it is. Without throwing one down the hole. I know Gunna would be proud of me for throwing it down the hole. Gunna likes when he's playing his game with the construction guys to throw the guy in the ditch all the time. I know you don't know what I'm talking about unless you're Gunna. Gunna knows what I'm talking about. But he's probably not watching this video. It's too long and too boring. Just kind of interesting. The way it lined up, the um, plate for the neck is crooked. I don't know if I can straighten that out or not. I don't know what will happen. But I'm not going to worry about it too much. It ain't a big deal. Aesthetically, this is a $100 Squire guitar that I'm adding. Well, when I fixed it up, I put a neck in that cost more than the guitar did. It's 140 for the neck and 119 for the guitar. But the guitar is Indonesia made um, and it really is in for a hundred bucks. It's a hell of a guitar. I mean, I was really surprised. There wasn't anything wrong when I opened this up. Um, I got it from musicians' friends, but it doesn't matter where it comes from because they don't touch them. It came sealed in the box right out of Indonesia. So the Indonesia guys are getting better all the time, and they're setting these things up much better than what they used to. Um, even the China setups on a couple of guitars I've gotten from China have come through better, which is uh, speaks loudly of Fender trying to improve the quality of these things right out of the box, and they're doing it. Um, so I think this is a great guitar. So the next thing we're going to do is do some decals. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I like the color of these, and I just happened to have them. Um, and we're going to use them. So we'll get to that in just a minute. So as we get ready, this is what I'm going to put on. Um, what i got to do is loosen the strings and move them out of the way and open up the fingerboard so that I can get to them and place these all on. It'll take a little bit of time. And I'll be back and show you the beginning. And then, well, the like I said, what we got to do is move the strings out of the way. So I just loosen up the tuners. And then I take a um, twist tie. Um, this is kind of a method I invented myself to be able to get these guys out of the way while I'm working on the fingerboard. And it's worked out very well. I'm very pleased with my little idea. Of the twist tie. I like to think I invented it, but I probably didn't. So the next thing we'll do is we'll start cutting these down, putting them together, and we're going to clean up the fretboard a little bit, make sure there's no greasy stuff on there. I'll hit it with a little bit of um, lighter fluid and clean the, um, the whole thing down, and we'll be back. All right, so the first thing, like I said, we're going to do is I'm going to use some lighter fluid on here, and then we're going to wipe down the whole fingerboard and get rid of any residue, fingerprints, oil stuff off the, the uh, fingerboard so that the decals, the inlays, will stick better. It's that simple. And then we'll dry it up. This dries up almost immediately and leaves nothing behind. So we got scissors. We've got a stiff pick to do the rubbing because you're gonna you want it to stick to the top of these, not to the bottom. Um, and then we're gonna cut them up. And then sometimes you need something to lift them up with, and a push pin works really well. Pretty simple. So to get started with this, what we'll do is trim off the top very close. Then we'll trim the first piece down, and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. And um, what you need to do with the pick is rub this on the top so this sticks to the clear top piece and you can peel the backing away and then lay it down. You peel this backing away from the top 
and then that's done and then you're going to lay this down on top so it follows the pattern so this is the next one that's going to be there so you want to kind of line it up near the fret itself as close as you can get to the fret and center it to some degree kind of like that I'm not going to push it down hard yet because I'm going to match it up and see if I can do that good that's good so that's one I'm going to take the next one I want to trim it off close so that I can get it up tight against the fret we'll trim the next one while we're here what the heck and so that's going to sit in there like that and then this next piece is going to come along and beat it there so we want to align this and then we'll hit it with the pick so it sticks good to the top like I said and then we'll peel away the backing and move on down the trail nice Let's see how that hits that's going to hit good all right, so we'll finish up down the line. Uh, I'm not sure what you can see. So I'll do this next one, and then we'll stop, and I'll just finish it off because um, it's not terribly exciting. It's pretty close. Okay. So that's that. So that's the first three. And then we'll um, finish it all the way down and I'll show you the red. Be back. Okay, so now we've got all the uh, uh, fretboard decals on. What we do now is we'll rub them in with the pick and then peel the top plastic away and this part will be all finished. I've got another guitar body coming that I'm going to use the old neck from this guitar that originally came with this on another Squire modified something or other um, that I got from Stratosphere up in New Hampshire. Um, that's where I got this neck from, Stratosphere. They sell new parts off of guitars. I think they just strip them down and then sell the parts as pieces. And it's very nice for us kind of idiot um, enthusiasts who like messing with guitars and changing, doing mods. So modifications are, I think, a lot of fun. So what we do is peel that away. And that's the first one peeled off. And we'll finish them all and then give them a good rub. Um, with the pick with Alice. This is an Alice medium stiff pick. It really works out good for rubbing this stuff in. So that's all that is there now, and I'll show you again at the end. Finish. All right, so there's the inlays, artificial, all laid in. Um, looks pretty good. These are made by Giacomo, and you can get them online. And there's a diagram that you can go by that shows you how they should lay if you have any concerns about it. Um, but these Giacomo stickers are between $10 and $25. And they're really good. They stick well, they stay on well, they look good. Um, it's a poor man's inlay. Uh, and I'm a poor man, basically. So I'm going to put all the strings back. i got to untie my special tie down here and release the strings. <coughs> and get them all back up and then we'll turn it all back up to pitch and uh, show you what it looks like and see how it plays so that's what it looks like with the strings over cute cute the new guitar is coming we still got pick guard to replace and some covers for the uh, um, pickups and we'll change the whole thing around we got this cute green strap Nice and wide. It's very nice. It was only about 10 bucks. 
on Amazon. Nice. All right, guitar fans. This is the new improved Squire green painted head. Amazing. We did the fingerboard now. That's all done. And we restrung. And we got it all tuned up to pitch. And we thought we'd play a little bit of music here. This is like the end of phase one. We changed the neck, we put a new neck on this guitar, um, and we're going to change the pick guard. We put the inlays on, we put new black uh, F style tuners um, on this neck that's a China Made Squire neck. It's beautiful, Maple. cute. Uh, more to come. See you again soon. All right, we're gonna do uh, finish the makeover here with our seafoam green and convert from the white to the multicolored. And that's coming up now. Nice. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is take the plate that we're gonna replace and cut out all the holes. with an exacto knife. Get everything ready to sit in there. And just cut these away and leave the shielding in place. Cut the slit. And then this will be all ready to sit up there. And we've got to take everything apart. Now we've got to get ready to take the, the pick out off. That's the new one. And there's the new one that's going to go replace the old. So we've got to take the strings and at least loosen them up. We're going to replace this silver thing with a black uh, with a black string tree okay we get rid of that stupid floppy head thing. Um, I have that all ready to go and then we'll do the turnover be bad right. now we're getting ready I own all the strings I'm just gonna cut them away snap snap boom boom we'll throw these away we're gonna put new strings on too I'm trying to decide if I want to go with the Black Beauties or if I want to go with green strings. Oh, I forgot this is through the body. So I've got to pop these back through the body. Get these guys out. One, two, three. Back off now because we're going to change the back too. What the heck? Part of this done in the beginning. See, we've got a new piece.
to replace that white. I'm going to go with that so it'll match the front pick guide. Here we go. So maybe we could do that right now while we're sitting here. You're saying out of trouble. This is down and dirty and easy. All right, so there's the white out. Oh, and they set it up right. So the spring should be going the same direction. One, two, three. And these should be about even, and they are. That looks fine. So we're not going to do anything different with that, except replace this with this. See if the holes line up. It's always a fun surprise. There's one. Uh, it doesn't quite, does it? It doesn't quite line up. We line up that, and those don't line up. Put those guys in. Well, they kind of line up. It's a little odd. So we'll try it and see if we can't get it down. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to take the cover off of this stuff. There's always two layers of plastic on here. We'll see if we can't peel that away. Um, have I got them both? I think I got both layers. I do. One, two. Two for one special. Nice. Good. So that's what it looks like. Nice and shiny and clean. Now we can try to line up one hole and another hole and another hole. See how it looks. It's a little crooked. That's funny. They cut this a little crooked. I could file it away. I might do that. Just to open it up a little bit and make it fit a little better. Not any problem. I think I'm going to do that. What the heck. If you're going to do it, you might just as well do it right. Because the way these holes are drilled, that's hitting the holes. It's weird. This is a little crooked across here. I don't know if you can see that. The way the screw holes line up, it uh, doesn't line up well across here. Yeah, to six down a little bit. So all I gotta do is take a file and file it down some. I'm gonna do okay, that. So we're over here by the sink and I'm gonna file with the big flat file. This is a half round and a flat file that I use to do this kind of junk with. And we gotta take this edge down quite a bit, more than the other. So we just lean into it. I think I can get enough out of this. I might need a shorter, a skinnier file. Take some of this away. Well, this is cutting. This plastic is giving it up pretty good. Oh, it's cutting very good. Whoa, way better than I thought. In the middle, it makes it look so extreme. The eye that cut away really well. Uh, I cut away very well. So now we'll just hit the back side with the flat of the file. And get rid of the flakes. That's that. I think you can see there now. It's pretty good. So we'll bring it over. It's all filed out. Made the hole funny. We'll do a quick test again over here. See how this lines up. All right, there's a screw hole. There's a screw hole. Yeah, I could even take some more down on this side. I think I will since I'm doing it. What the hell? I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll just clean this up a little bit. Wipe down this, buff this up, we'll line it up, and see how well these black screws go. Little screw.
pattern's a little wild, huh? So that's that. Hit that one down a little bit more. So those are all pretty tight. Yeah, that's very skinny. Let's see how the front one's doing. That's a little loose too, so we'll change this too. Can't see any of that, huh? I think I'm talking about stuff. And what I'm talking about is the guitar strap holder. How do you get bigger screws on that? This is just not holding. Um, so that's that for now. So we'll flip it over. Next thing I'm going to do is take out all these screws and these here. Loosen this all up so it'll let the pick guard lift and we can change the, the pick guard over to the new one. It's a bit of a pain. We'll peel the plastic off of this. Hopefully it'll peel as simply as the other one did. And it looks like it's going to. I hate trying to peel this stuff off afterwards. It's very hard. And both layers are coming up at once. That's nice. So we don't have to go digging for the second one. You can see there's two layers here. There's one layer, and then there's the other layer. I guess they don't trust themselves, so it's like a belt and suspenders to protect this um, manufacturing and shipping. that so that's all nice and shiny and clean and that's going to sit on just like that my god it looks like all the screw holes line up too wouldn't that be a miracle never works out this well even the bottom i think is going to fit that's great uh, and i'm going to stagger these i'm going to use uh, a green darker green then this is a lighter green it looks almost like cream but it's green and then do the same thing with the knobs. So we're in for a fun adventure. Okay. We'll take all the screws out, take this apart, and I'll show you what we're doing. Anyway, this is just a little tedious. I'll be back when we get some more fun stuff. Okay. Okay, now we're taking all the components and loosening them up and freeing them so that they'll drop out of the pick guide when we lift it up and then we'll be ready to replace it with the new pick guard and add the components back a piece at a time as we go so we'll undo these guys and see them all replacing the heads there's a spring in here underneath on the bottom side that you got to catch so don't lose it Alright, so that's loose, and there's the spring, that's one side, and there's the other side, now the next question is how well these covers are going to fit. Here's another problem that comes up with pots that you buy from China and stuff. Um, this is the original white one. It fits fine. This is a replacement that I was going to use, these green guys, except they're cut different. So the holes where the magnets are don't line up. So those are out the window. So what I've got are some other cream color ones that do fit. So I'm going to end up using them. Um, unbelievable. It's so often the case with these pots. You've got to be ready to go in several different directions. If I couldn't get this to fit, I'd go back to the white and use the white. It wouldn't be ideally what I would want to do, but you know what they say, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna put this back in now here, 
and see if it'll fit. Oh, that's great. So this is a different size than the hole. <laughs> and the hole where it goes through. Um, so these don't work either. So the original plan of going away from the white is not going to happen. Because I'm not going to make this into a career. So we'll replace this one and leave the white right where it is. Um, but I still got to take all the other ones out and they're going to fit into the new um, the new pickup, which we got to do afterwards. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So what we got to do, so part of the redesign plan has kind of gone to hell in a handbasket because the parts that I've got don't really work. It was a great idea, but you can only do what you can do. This is the final screw holding the pick on together. We'll pull that out, and that's free. Now the pick on will come off, and we'll uh, see what we can do about putting the new one together here. All right, so that's that. There's the old one. There's the spring. So now let's just do a trial for the fun of it and see how this is all going to go together. I lost one of the washers here for this guy, a locking washer. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. We'll see if all this is going to fit the way I hope it will. Oh, it looks good. It's going to fit. So that's fine. So I don't have to see down here. This is the part that matters is all this has got to come together. Uh, and it's going to come together just fine. Uh, I wish I could find the other washer I lost. I don't know where it went to. Ugh. We'll wash out. So now we'll try and put everything back together. Let's get the screws to cooperate. All right, that's those two guys. I like the black look. That looks nice. Now, we're done with that for now. Now we've got to get the volume and control knobs. I mean, the volume tone and control knobs back in the picture. Throw a washer on one of them. Throw a nut on one of them. Throw a washer on the next one. Throw a nut on the next one. Just to kind of loosely hold them up in the correct position. Snug. Okay, so that's snug. Not wicked tight, just snug. Now we gotta flip this kind of over and start working. Ooh, that ain't bad. Let's see what we can do. So we're going to lift this up, we're going to place the first one kind of in the hole, then we're going to get a spring, we're going to put a screw in the hole, put the screw in the spring, put the spring down into one of those holes, and get it started. Once we get one started, the second side's a little bit easier. It ain't perfect, but it's easier. All right. That's that. 
that. And if you can get it to line up with the hole, usually it'll go through. That. See what I mean? There's one pickup in place. Screw in. Put the spring in. Thread. So we've got that one part of the way up. Get a screw started. We'll get a spring started. Try to get the screw into the hole, which I think we did. Howdy, you came back down. Good. This is going pretty good. I wish we had been able to go with the other colors, but you can't always make it work the way you want to work. This is um, retrofitting stuff, and sometimes things don't match. Uh, I'm really glad that the holes match. This looks like it's going to line up pretty well once we get done kidding around here. So let's try this out, see if we can get it to sit down. I think that's pretty good. Where's the wires? We're going to get the wires in the channel correctly otherwise the whole thing gets bound up in the wires and then you got real issues so that's pretty good um it's not exactly the color scheme we wanted but it's pretty good the next thing we're going to do is throw in all the screws so we've got a good alignment um put a couple of the corners in with the black and see how it all aligns Okay, it's all sitting down pretty good. Now we can tighten these guys up. So that'll be good and tight. And then we'll set the pickup pipes after we put the strings on. And all these screw holes amazingly are lining up just fine. Alright, so we'll finish putting the screws in. And then we'll be back. We'll restring it and change the the um, floppy guy here. Change that to black. And we'll be ready to rock and roll again. Okay. Now we got it basically put together. There's the new pick card. We had to go with the white because I couldn't get the cream ones to fit. Or the green ones. Neither one of them fit. Which is too bad. We replaced the string tree with a black one so that's nice and cute and I think we're gonna go with the green strings and that's the next thing coming up be right back all right so here's what's gonna go on the greens neon 9 to 46 neon, neon green all right we're just loading the strings we're almost done you gotta drop them through the hole as soon as you can find it Easier said than done sometimes. That's the first string, the high E, and the fourth. And that one is nice. All right, so they're all in. It's nice that we cleared away the space here and made the hole bigger. Now we'll flip the whole guitar over. Um, put my pad back down. Okay, and start stringing up. Um, and I 
did the neon green. So that's what we're going to do is the neon green strings. And we'll bring them up. Let's start with the big E. See how that lines up. Go about two and a half out. And then we'll cut the string. Make sure it's nice and tight. Feed it into the loop. And these are the F tuners, the good old styled F tuners, which allows you to put the string right down into the um, uh, tuner itself. I like that a lot. Um, it's on the bottom. I don't think I hit that just right yet. In fact, I know I didn't. It's riding up high, so let's bring it back and get it down to go low like it's supposed to. So it winds itself down in against itself. That's going terrible. All right, we'll wind it all the way back out again and start like over the way it's supposed to. We're good. All right, so there's the first string on. We'll do that same thing all the way down, and I'll be back. All right, so we've got the green strings on. Now we're going to try to set the pickup height. And I know already this is much too high. So we gotta bring these down to work. We've got a gauge from Stuart McDonald that tells me this is much too high. <clears throat> Still too high. Okay, everybody's fairly close. So, we've got it in tune, relatively speaking. There it is, clean, shiny, and new, with the green strings. Going to basic black on green. Pretty cute. Okay, so here we are with the foam green final. Pretty good. Change the pick guy, change the stuff, change the knobs, put new strings on, change the tuners here to have styles, change the string guide. Did the new fretboard. Put a whole new neck on here. Pretty good. With the whammy. Mammy. Plays good. Looks good. Nice. Worked out really well. I love this. Uh, made in Indonesia or China or someplace. The neck is made in China. And I think the guitar was actually probably made in Indonesia. The parts I got to change it all over from China. Um, I like the look. I like the feel. I like the way it plays. Pretty good. Another finish.